Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to paint this healthy fruit, avocado. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, here's an exciting new reason for you to subscribe now. From here on, I will publish three new learning videos every week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on Sunday, the reference image for the video that most viewed and commented, I will upload it on YouTube for my subscribers to download. How to subscribe? Click the subscribe button below this video. I will give you five seconds before we start the painting. You know, I use exclusively the brushes from Enjoying Art. Order yours today at enjoyingart.com brushes. Take a look, the whole shape looks like a triangle. When you see the triangle, open up a little bit more, not like this, right? Open up a little bit. So we're gonna take a look at the whole shape. I'm gonna use, mix a little bit more uh, greenish color. I'm gonna just get a little yellow and with a little bit blue. This is pleasant blue. And here you go. That's very simple. Now I'm gonna take a look at this bolt, the end of this triangle. We're gonna move a little bit slightly to the left side, like that's good enough. So I'm gonna put that to side. This is very simple, like that. Right, just think about the whole shape as triangle. This is good. I'm gonna get a little bit more blue over here. A little bit more water. This is good. And then what's the top of that? And take a look at the bottom over here. What's the top? Bottom, what's the top? I think the top will be go up all the way here for this. The whole avocado right here, like that. And then on this side, we can see all the way coming over here, like this. This is good. Right, which is the middle of this? That's coming a little bit more in here, like that. S squint your eye if you want to see the whole shape easier, like that all the way coming down. And on, also on this side, go all the way up, like this, pretty good. Right, that's just one piece. And then we'll take a look on this side. Oh, actually, if we want to have this on the top over here, this whole shape, the top over here, and let's complete this shape. And then we're gonna make the adjusting, okay? Like that coming down, all the way over here, and then coming up, like it, going around the whole shape. And this is kind of a little bit more, like that, this is pretty good. Now take a look over here, we need to get a little, little bit bigger, coming up a little bit more over here, like this, this is good. And coming over here, this is good, like that. All right, now we finish the idea of the large composition. Okay, I can soften that a little bit. Use the water. Okay. This is very good, and we're gonna start adding the base color, okay? Before I go to do that, I'm also gonna mark the whole shape over here for the seed, okay? Right here, and then how high is it? A little bit higher than the middle. So here, like this, and the left side, the right side over here. And you very much do the same thing with whatever the graphite or other tool that for your composition. Again, very much doing the same thing, right? You can have that a little bit brown color in the middle over here too. Okay, let's set the base color, okay? It's very simple. And then because the painting quite small, so I'm, I'm not gonna paint the background. I'm gonna leave the background to be white. So I'm just gonna use the calligraphy brush to go through the first layer. So I'm gonna put the color over here. It looks a little bit uh, brownish color in the inside, which is a little bit orange. I'm gonna have a little bit yellow and a little red. This is good. That's a little orange color. 
Yeah, and a little bit more yellowish. This is good. So I'm gonna put that right in here. This is simple. And coming over here, up over here, I'm gonna go all the way down over here. And then also have it meet the edge because we're gonna use wet into wet. Okay, watch out. One area at a time for this painting. Okay, right here like this. That's a skid. And in here, we also have a little bit brownish color. I'm gonna put that color over here too. Okay, like that. And connect it down over here. This is good. And gonna have this a little bit softer. This is okay. Like that. I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow and red on this side. Okay, like this. Here you go. Make it a little bit more like that. And the middle over here, have a little bit more like that too. And here we go. Now we're going to set the green color to the edge. Okay, get the yellow and the blue color. Okay, here you go. This is good. A little bit more, a little bit more yellow. This is pretty good. Now we're going to just put it on the edge. Here you go, like that. It would be wet into wet, merged together. This is good, like that. Okay, this is pretty good. You can, can have this a little bit higher, like that. Here we go. I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom over here. Okay, here we go, like that. Going down over here. This is good. I'm gonna have it over here. There you go. And because the inside is wet, it's naturally bring the color in. This is very nice. Like that. Now I'm going to help it to spread a little bit more. I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow color. And have this with a little bit green going over. This is good. And open the brush a little bit more like this. So here we go. Now I'm gonna have it like that. Gradually turn it a little bit softer. Like that. Coming over. That's good. And if you want it to be a little bit more softer, graduate. You can do a little bit more. This is good. Now I'm gonna have actually a little bit more orange color over here, continue coming in. So don't introduce too much water. And in that case, it could make it too much texture. Okay, coming over here. This is pretty good. Now, I'm gonna have this, erase that a little bit more over here. Let me make it a little bit lighter over here. Coming in over here. That's good. That's wonderful. That's just good. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more color on this side. Okay, here you go. A little bit more greenish color. Okay, a little bit more. That's just good. And over here. A little bit more gradually. So I'm gonna actually have a little bit more coming in. This is good. Yeah, they're great. I will paint the skin after the audio drive. All right. That's easy. I'm going to add a little bit more brown color. I'm going to get a little bit more red. Here you go. A little bit more blue. And a little bit more tiny, tiny yellow. Okay, this is good. A little bit more red. This is good. That on the top here. And put a little bit here. Let it wet into wet. Merge together. That's good. And probably a good idea to start adding a little bit more brown color in here. Like that. We can use lifting off to create a little bit lighter. But this is good. Uh, 
just add very little so on this side this side I'm not going to touch much and, and let it little gap okay here we go like that that's good over here I'm gonna get just a little bit more tiny tiny yellow more like an orange tiny and a little bit yellow this is good and I'm gonna have this a little bit tiny tiny over here like that there we go okay come back to refine it a little bit more later okay I'm just going to light it up here now doing a little bit lifting why is it still wet and here you go this is good remove the wet before you coming back here just lift it up a little bit now this is good I actually want to have a little bit warmer brown color on this side and have a little bit more just have a little bit red put it into the color here okay here you go like this here you go like that this is good even a little bit more red okay it can be a little bit more red okay that's good a little bit darker on this side okay a little bit more blue and here we go I'm gonna have this a little bit darker there's a little bit darker like that okay we're gonna do that after you drive okay this is good while we're doing that over here this is already driving the top over here so we're gonna start painting there the other so I'm gonna wet this area because I want to have a soft graduate uh, fade from the highlight so I'm gonna only wet it in the area here so I'm gonna lift up just too much wet so I'm gonna just use the dryer brush like that that's good now let's do that and put the yellow a lot more yellow here you go some blue color we're all gonna see some reflection on the side Okay, this is good. We're gonna shed a little bit more. This is perfect. Now let's do that right in here. Okay, right over here. Beautiful, like that. There you go. Now coming a little bit closer. Now it because the water, we wet it in this because it's very soft highlight, and that's really gonna help. Right, I'm gonna have it like that and going through. This is good. I'm going to have a little bit more over here like that. But the edge over here also have a little bit more of the brownish color because of the reflection from the surrounding. So I'm just going to add this little bit more warmer color right over there like that. That's good. Coming up over here. Can be a little bit darker later, but just it's a good idea to add a little uh, one more color, a little bit brownish color first. A little bit more brown over here too. That's good. Now let's just keep going. That's first round. I'm going to get a little bit more blue. That, the green color, a little bit darker. Get a little bit more blue. A little bit more yellow. Okay, here you go. Like that. And then a little bit more. If you think it's just too bright, add the, introduce a little bit tiny, tiny red. Okay will make it a little bit less as bright. I'm going to have it over here. That keep it going. That's good. And get a little bit more tiny, tiny more yellow. Okay, keep it going like that. Here we go. Like this pretty good. And a little bit more on this side. A bit closer and closer to the highlight again. Okay, I'm gonna get a bit yellow. That's good. The color also a little bit thicker, like that. Here you go. That's good. And all right, I'm gonna put a little bit, also a little bit texture when they get closer to the highlight. Okay, that's that's good. 
Now I'm going to keep going over here. Keep going down over here. Use the brush tip facing to the edge. So you can draw that a little bit more controllable. A little bit easy to see. Now when you get it down over here, it get a little bit darker. Okay, I'm going to have this all the way down over here. This is good. That's the shape. Okay, when you get down over here, I'm going to get a little bit darker. This is getting a little bit darker too. So I'm going to get a little bit more red. You can see that. If you want to get a little bit darker, a little bit more blue, a little bit more red. Here we go. Now I'm going to have this a lot darker coming over here, coming around. Beautiful. Here you go. That's good. Just keep telling yourself you're doing it a good job. And, and keep going. Be patient. Okay, that's good. Coming over here, use this dark color. Even darker though. And coming over here. Look at that. There's a whole turning around. as whole shape, right? Now I'm going to use a little bit darker color. Now just get the blue. Okay. And with a little bit uh, Windsor red. That Here we go. Now I'm going to have this all the way from here. Like that. That's good. Like that. And coming down over here. Here you go. Like that. That's just very nice. Now I'm going to have that. A little bit more blue and yellow. I'm going to try to make this uh, a little bit more blue. Oh, so a little bit more blue in the green. Now I'm going to have this continue going up over here. Make it a little bit softer. Now that's nice. Now we just finish our first step of the painting by creating the base color. Next step, I'm going to come in to adjust the colors with the flat brush. Okay, let's take a look. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on this. I'm going to light up some area. Just use the brush and just like this. You see, a little bit lighter would change your impressions. Okay, that's just pretty good already. It's pretty easy. Just light it up a little bit over here. Okay. And next, on this side, I'm going to make it a little bit darker. So I'm going to have a little bit red. The red color with a little bit blue color. Okay, this is pretty good. More red. Tiny a little bit red. This is good. Now I'm going to just put it on this side. See that this can become a little bit softer over here. And we're not doing the final changes yet. I just make this side slightly a little bit darker. So I'm going to even a little bit more blue, have a little bit cooler. Okay, like that. This is good. And just use the corner of the brush, just soften a little bit. That's just good. Now, when we have a little bit darker on the inside over here, it will make a huge difference. Now I'm going to take a look at this. And I'm going to just use the water to soften this a little bit. This is a very important step. And adjusting is very useful after you finish the first round. They're adding the colors everywhere. Now I'm going to make this just a little bit darker. I'm going to have a little bit, a little bit yellow with the blue color. So here you go. I'm going to have that. Just use the corner of the brush. After you do this round, it's going to look a lot, a lot better, softer. And I'm going to have a little bit yellow. Okay, here we go. And coming down over here. Now coming down over here, I'm going to get a little bit darker. So I'm going to get a little bit more blue. And the red color. A little bit more red. There you go. Got even more yellow. It's a little bit darker. Now coming down here. 
Okay, here we go. Like that, this can come out a little bit. We can do a little bit adjusting. Coming out a little bit, make a little bit smoother. And here you go, like that. Okay, wonderful. I'm gonna have even darker. Got a little bit more blue again. And some little red. I'm gonna have it slightly. A little bit darker. Here you go. Like that. Very good. Very good. I'm gonna have even a little bit more red. Okay, a little bit more red. Here we go. This have some reflection from the from the environment. I'm gonna have a little bit more red. That's just pretty good. That's good. Have a little bit more blue. Down over here, a little bit more blue. Okay, let's see. That's good. Right in the middle over here. Like that. Now, you see the color? A lot smoother. Some a little bit yellow. Okay, a little bit more here. Okay, that's pretty good. Like that. And get a bit more yellow. Okay. That's good. Good. And next we're gonna create the texture on the skin and we're gonna use masking. I'm going to show you after this drive. Now at this point, I'm going to start adding the cast shadow. Okay, let's take a look. How can we do the cast the shadow at this point? And I'm going to just uh, wet a little bit at the surrounding. Okay, just use the clean water. Here you go, like that. And a little bit over here. This is okay. Just a little bit coming outside here that's good like that we don't have to get contact with the uh, objects we just need to wet the outside that's good and make it a little bit softer in the outside when the color touching to the outside edge making sure it is clear enough and the inside we can see a little bit blue color so I'm gonna have that little bit actually French other marine I'm gonna put it right here have a little bit inside that's good like that and let it touch to this shape that is totally fine is okay i'm gonna have it like that okay now i'm gonna have a little bit darker blue just now we used french other marine now the present blue now and just keep using this fur brush, here you go, like that, a little bit better, like this. Now I'm going to start using the red color mix into it a little bit. Okay, actually on this side, I'm going to have a little bit the blue color on the outside, like that. Okay. That's just good. After this, good. Have a little bit blue color going around, and also here, going around with here too. Okay, and softer on the outside. Okay, this is good. Adjust the clean water, soften that, the edge over here, and now we're going to paint a little bit darker color on the inside. Okay, this. Make sure it's soft. 
enough. That's good. A little bit softer. Okay, now I'm gonna mix the red with the blue color. I'm gonna use this area, this spot. Here you go. And these two color mixed together is quite great. Okay, this is good. I'm gonna take a look. I'm gonna take a look right from here coming out. Okay, that's good. A little bit softer like that. And coming over here from this coming out. A little bit soft color. That's just good. And like that. It's getting there. I'm gonna have a little bit more red. A little bit more blue. And I'm gonna make it a little bit more neutral by adding a little bit yellow color into it. Get a little bit yellow right here. Like that. That's just pretty good. Now take a look. And right at the corner here. This is good. Coming in over here. Okay. Okay, fine tune that. And coming over here. That's a little bit darker. Like that. And on this side, I'm also going to add a little bit darker color and have a little bit more blue color okay have a little bit blue now here we go and the outside have a little bit blue color going around okay that's good like that have this lead into the outside that's just good a little bit softer and over here I'm gonna lead that outside make a little bit softer too okay this is pretty good okay soften the edge right here that's good that make a, a nice catch shadow okay that's good like that all right, we're gonna wait until it drive. I'm gonna to come to create the texture. And after that, we're gonna do the fine tuning over here and we're gonna finish the painting. Okay, this is already dry. Make sure the surface of this is purely dry before we go to the next step. I'm gonna using this masking fluid. That's good enough. And then I'm going to use this old tube brush. I'm going to spray it right in this area. I'm going to cover this area into here. Here you go. Like that. That's good enough. But dip the tube brush into here. Okay, let's see. And I'm going to from the top over here coming down like that. That's pretty good. It's probably enough. Take a look at the edge over here. Okay. And then we'll put this down. And then we're going to wait until it drive. Okay, it's already dried. Now I'm going to start adding overlaid on top of this. So first actually here, I'm going to have this a little bit lighter and also make this a little bit more round. Okay, I'm going to move this out a little bit. I'm going to get a little bit warmer, like brownish orange color. So I'm going to get a little bit blue. That's as good. Put this out a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Okay, it look a little bit better. A little bit more. Get a little bit blue. There we go. Tap tap on it. Okay, 
Now I'm going to start adding a little bit more. I'm just going to use a little bit more yellow. Okay, a little bit blue. Just a little bit darker, overlaid. That's good. Now I'm going to start putting it here. And put it on top of that. That's good. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna over a little bit over here. I see the skin. Like that. Okay. Now coming on to this side. Okay. Okay, that's good. And a little bit darker. Okay, this is good. We're gonna see the difference. If I have another layer on top, make it look darker. And and then we're gonna remove that masking. So we're gonna see how it look. Okay, here we go. On this, I have a little bit more bluish, a little bit greenish color. Okay, that's good. Okay. That. Yeah, and down over here. Actually, a little bit lighter. Okay. That. That's pretty good. I'm gonna have a little bit more color. Over here, make it a little bit softer. This. All right. I can have this a little bit lighter. Now take a look on this side. And what's the color? It have look could be a little bit more like a gray color. So I have a little bit more red and a little bit blue mixed into it. Yeah, here you go. I'm gonna put this color a little bit warmer, like that, a little bit different than a little bit even purplish color. Okay, that's good. Coming over here, there you go, like that. That's good. Down over here, so lift up a little bit. Okay, and the bottom over here, we also can light up a little bit. Because that's the reflection from the table surface. Okay, light up a little bit here too. But lift it up a little bit. Add a little yellow color. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna light up a little bit more over here. That's just good. All right, at this point, I'm also gonna make the very dark color at the tip here. The red and the plus and blue. Okay, over here. A little bit darker at the tip. Okay. And we're gonna wait. Okay. <clears throat> at this point, while we're waiting, we're gonna add a little bit more 
of those brownness color. Now here you go, like that. A little bit more blue. Okay, here you go. Have a little bit dry brushes, like that. And a little bit darker on the shadow side. Okay, over here a little bit more clear. That's good. Have a little bit more red. Okay. And the bottom over here a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna soften that a little bit here. And look good. And have a little bit yellow. Get a little yellow color, more yellow, and see that that's a little bit more yellow. Okay, like that. Okay, let's get a little bit blue on this side, a little bit more blue, and just imagining this is. A very rounder shape. Yeah, a little bit more round. And here you go. Now I'm gonna make the little bit darker color on this side. It will look uh, the reflection was showing. Okay, that's a bit. A little bit brownish color right on this side. Like that. See that? That's. We create an imagine, uh, imagining connection that that little bit reflection, a little bit lighter. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have a little bit lighter, just a little bit lighter, a little bit more yellowish color, a little bit softer, like that. Magic. That's pretty good. I also lift up a little bit over here, like this. Make it a bit lighter. That's good. Okay, let's make a little bit brown color on the top. Over there, a little bit tip. Okay, right in here. A little bit dark over here, and have it down over here. That's the top of this. Okay. Have a little bit yellow. Okay, this is good. Let's put a little edge. A little bit tiny, tiny darker. Like that. Nice. Okay, and the bottom over here, I'm gonna continue. A little bit darker. Okay, that's very good. We can make it a tiny a little bit darker. Even red and the blue color. Okay, and actually the outside, sometimes we're seeing uh, a little bit more purplish color. So in on this one, it's not much purple, but it's more dark blue color, dark green color. Okay. Have this color in a little bit darker. Here we go. Now I'm gonna have this coming down over here. And here you go. Now create the impression that is seeing the outside. That's good. That 
that. Like that. Very well. Now I'm going to come back to the middle. A little bit darker. A lot darker. Red and the blue color. Here you go. Now we can make this a lot darker. Here you go. That's good. Right. Okay. A little bit darker. I have a little bit darker here at the center. Okay. And here you go. Now I'm just going to use a little bit lighter gray color. Connect this together. And this also connected. Don't use too much water, otherwise it will push the color all away and make it look too light. Okay. Now just use a little, just a clean brush. Connect that. And now the outside over here. Connect that a little bit. I can use a little bit more red or brown color. And have the outside over here. Connect it a little bit warmer. Like this. Like that. Very nice. Make it a little bit softer. Okay, on this side, I'm gonna light up a little bit more. Okay, that's in the middle over here. I can light up a little bit more on the highlight. That's good. Light up a little bit more. By just using the lifting. Now it's getting pretty good. We're gonna wait just a little bit longer. But right now we're just going to use the yellow, the bright yellow color. What? Let's see, just a little bit yellow color on the edge over here. We're going to have a little bit more yellow green color. And here you go. Just have the yellow. We'll make it a lot fresh. Okay, here you go like that. That's good. You don't need to mix the yellow green color because we mix it right on the painting. Okay, here you go. Now I can use the water to soften, make the color a little bit gradually coming in. Now let's reveal those masking. And this already drive the whole thing. Now I'm gonna just using here we go. Just use a finger to remove the masking. Now we're showing up some nice texture. Now the painting is finished. If you also like oil painting, you can see how I paint this in another YouTube channel. The link in the description. I will see you in my next video.